the number one fragrance that I've gotten the most compliments on. In the reviews where they were saying that this was really sweet smelling. They're not kidding. They are not kidding. You smell good. <laughs> I don't fish for compliments, okay? That's not that's not my primary reason for self-care. Oh. Hey guys, Jess here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be sharing with you guys the fragrances that I wore this week and the number one fragrance that I've gotten the most compliments on. For those of you that are already a part of the family, I'd like to thank you very much. However, if you are not, what are you doing? Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell as well. So without further ado, I will not hold you any longer. Let's get into it. This first is from the high end of the spectrum. From the Christian Dior line, Poison. This is a 80s classic, an 80s classic. This, I smelled this the very first time back in 2000. 2011 I believe 2011 2012 this is a classic but it is a very heady h-e-a-d-y okay heady fragrance it's not for the faint of heart this this grown grown woman show enough fragrance from the 80s at the time I did not realize how valuable and how one of a kind this type of fragrance is and that it's not for the faint of heart. But recently I have acquired the full size, which took time <laughs> as the others I'll go over, but definitely spritz this on this week. Now I'm not a big fan of the name, but that's how I was able to find it. Hypnotic Poison this week. This one is a very heady fragrance too. And in the reviews before I ever got a chance to acquire this, I kept seeing in the reviews where they were saying that this was really sweet smelling. They're not kidding. They are not kidding. I have not seen too many people rant and rave about it on YouTube recently, but in years past, I have seen, it's a very sweet fragrance. It's not sickening sweet. It's balanced out with the other notes that are in it, which is the only thing that saved. <laughs> That's the only reason why it's here. The only reason why I've acquired it. I can smell a little bit through the box, but it's it's absolutely incredible. And I'm keeping all, all of these in the box because they're just so precious. Poison Girl. So this one, I believe, came out in 2007. This one is like a lighter version of the 80s classics of this entire line. This one, I caution you. If you have rather sensitive sinuses, your nasal system is uh, quite sensitive. You'll wind up sneezing. Be careful with this. Be careful. Because within at least three sprays <laughs> other than that it smells absolutely incredible it's very very floral now i've had the pleasure of trying a rendition of this from sweet essentials this was in my empties video which is just before this video when i got a chance to compare the two this is sweeter the rendition of it than the original. The original is a lot more floral. So just be careful with that. If you try renditions of perfumes in perfume oil form or remakes, or this is our version of thumbs up. If you remember, they used to make those perfumes at those, at those department store. And they'd be like, if you like this, here's our version. Yeah. Be careful with that because once you decide that you're going to go and get the original then keep the rendition you got so you can compare the two because there is a difference it's very rare for a perfume 
designer, a perfume maker that focuses on making copies of the higher end scents. Very rare for you to find one that smells almost identical. So far, there's only been one. One that I one dupe that I know of. Poison Girl. I've went over that. I did wear that this week because I, I, I used all the rest of it today. I wear this from time to time, but special occasion. And I would really like the the original rendition of it the auto perfume in the full size because this one this a game changer for me midnight poison from christian dior it's in this beautiful gorgeous blue bottle but it's costly because it's hard to find and that's that's the case with this entire christian dior poison line i have also revisited and i'm about halfway through this bottle from Parfums Decor, Sexiest Fantasies, which is also the subsidiary sister company, I believe, to Body Fantasies. So they're in the same umbrella. Fireworks. Hard to find. No longer in stores. They pulled it. This is a breath of fresh air. So I definitely was layering this on this week whenever I had to own about my business, run errands, this was definitely one. This is a breath of fresh air. This has the notes of strawberry, peaches, and vanilla. You like fruity scents? This this is it. This is this is it right here. When I first got it, I'm like, whoo, I will for those who don't, I'm heavy-handed. For those who don't know, I'm heavy-handed. I don't play no games. From Avon, thumbs up if you remember. If not, that's okay. Sensuality by Liv Botanicals. This smells like an adult version of Fruity Loops. I have missed it this on a couple times throughout the week. I, I just absolutely love that light, sweet smell. And it's perfect for when you just, you just casually going out. This is go out with your friend girls, t going to the mall type of stuff, type of fragrance. That's what that is. Avon has some pretty, pretty awesome fragrances that I have had the pleasure and treasure of trying. Bars. <laughs> Walked right into that. Once you try something, it's not every day you'll try a really great scent, a really great body care product across the board. But when you do, those are usually the ones they discontinue. Don't know why. Don't know why. But they do that to the good ones. This one, absolutely awesome. Last, but certainly not least, and I say the best for last. Midnight Poison from Christian Dior. If not, it's, it's okay. Guess what my most complimented fragrance was? Just for, just period, period. Especially this week. Midnight Poison. It's a rendition from Sweet Essentials. Not sponsored. None of this is. The mo When I wore it this week, I had just gone out to run errands and I was heading back home. Oh yeah, quick story time, very quick. When I got in the car or the Lyft driver, it already smelled like something else. Just, you know, greeted the driver. Hey, how you doing? All that. He said, you smell good. <laughs> I don't fish for compliments, okay? That's not, that's not my primary reason for self-care at all. Self -care, the reason for my self-care is just from within to know that I am good enough to build that self-esteem coming from knowing who you are in God, in Christ. Not trying to make it religious, but that, that's been very factual for me and is factual. That is my reason for self-care. That is my reason for body care, pampering myself. And that I like to not only look good, but smell good and then take the time out for myself. For the entire ride, he was telling me, you know, I usually freshen the car with my girlfriend's stuff. And so I happened to have one of my business cards, totally unplanned. The whole ride, <laughs> I'm telling you, it was awesome. The whole ride. We spent chat, pretty much chatting about that. And I said, okay, well, let me recommend you to where I got this perfume oil from. Because that's been my most complimented 
perfume this year and last year because I pretty much have worn that more than anything else. I'm like, had him the card and I said, um, your girlfriend will love this. That's my focus and such and such like that. I don't really like to plug my channel or do anything like that. But if the situation calls for it like that, like, oh, you smell good. Now the whole car smell, the whole car was smelling like midnight poison. This is only just a rendition of it. Can you imagine what it's going to be like when I get the actual bottle of the full size, the original bottle? I'm blinking like this on purpose, okay? I know that's subject to change. I will try to wear my other scents because, you know, no shade towards the other ones. His whole car wound up smelling like, just because I stepped in there and had sprayed it on me and I had totally forgot. When I got back home, I'm just like, oh, let's get the real thing. Let's, let's get that. Because if this is any indicator of how the real one's going to smell, sign me up. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is, those are the fragrances that I wore this week. Also, my most complimented fragrance I have shared with you all. And until next time and until the next video.